we're getting married. <laughs> we get married in two days. I'm so excited for her. I stalked him, found him online. Yeah, you said let's meet. I went, oh yeah, she's aggressive. I'm ready to get married. The fact that they are openly affectionate soothes that wound that Cody inflicted. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday, December 20th, 2023. If you thought that after four parts of a tell-all that somehow this season would be over, which naturally would have been normally the end of a season, it's not. TLC is riding the wave of ratings and there will be a look back episode this weekend where the cast is going to look back at the family, sort of how did they get here now that Mary, Christine, and Janelle have all left. Robin's going to have an epic tantrum, no surprise. And so they're gonna look back for two episodes, meaning they're gonna watch and then they're gonna respond to older episodes with their little iPads. And then there's also going to be two episodes where they answer questions so there's like four upcoming episodes, like one on a Friday and one on a Sunday. I don't know what to do with all of this. And then there's two part wedding special for Christine on January 7th and the 14th. A lot of people are assuming that because this is, you know, a look back and Christine and David's wedding is coming up, that somehow this means that the show is over. All I can tell you is that According to McKelty and to Gwendolyn, there was filming of an engagement party for Gwendolyn. There has been filming for a season 19. And based upon ratings of the show, I highly doubt the show is going to end unless the family decides to pull the plug, which because none of them have other employment, I can't see that happening at this point, at least. Cody and Robin are still heavily dependent on this for income. Other jobs and the rest of them while working in MLMs are still getting a nice paycheck from the show. So no, it's not over. But a brand new uh, teaser of Christine's wedding came out. Yesterday we shared and discussed Heather McDonald's interview with Christine. And we talked a lot about how Robin changed the dynamics of the family. And now Christine has her chance to enter into monogamy. So there is a new teaser and it's Christine's wedding episode, which will be January 7th through the January 7th and January 14th. Let me just give you a quick peek before we dive into that on the look back, just so you can get an understanding of what that's going to look like in love with Robin. That doesn't diminish me my otherwise. Were you lying then or are you lying now? Take a look back. I need you to step it up because you can. The problem with Christine was I didn't really want to be married to her. It continues. The Cody Brown family. I need to stop it. I can't watch this. <laughs> it be hard for me to sit through Cody Brown and his revisionist history about the show. I think the challenging part for me with the way that the show is moving, and I think a lot of my followers feel the same, although I don't know, is that it's hard to understand why the show goes on outside of money at this point. Because when the show started, it was supposed to be showing what polygamy was, and it was supposed to be following Cody Brown and his four wives and their lives. And the the goal was to just an unfiltered look at the world of polygamy and to promise to show the good sides of everything. We now know all of it was a lie, right? We know that Christine yesterday said that Cody was pretending. We've heard from the kids that a lot of the scenes were not necessarily scripted, but a lot left on the cutting room floor. We know that a lot of them lied to protect Cody. Cody has flat out admitted that the wives covered his sin in a cloak of charity, meaning they lied for him on the show. 
that after so many lies, hard for some people to believe anything they say now. Because if they have lied so much, what's the truth? It's entertainment, I understand. But what's the truth? And is there going to be a correction to any harm that's been caused as a result of them promoting an illegal way of living, polygamy? And (laughs) is there going to be correction where we see them discuss the fallout? Are we going to see the trauma that they're experiencing? Because I know that it's not as just easy as walking away and being happy and living happily ever after. As much as I want to be happy for Christine, which I'll show you here in a minute, it's not as simple as just leaving your indoctrinated cult and then walking away and then just moving on and not at all being impacted by the trauma that you went through in that relationship and in that system. I don't expect them to delve into that, but I mean, that would be what the truth would be. And we know that's not truthful. I will say I am looking forward to seeing her wedding Watching Robin storm off and cry, it's just another day in Sister Wives fandom, right? Like, doesn't she always cry and isn't she always upset and isn't Cody always jabbing at Christine? That's what it is. And and, and he said, the problem with Christine is I didn't love her. Well, if you didn't love her, why did you spend 14 years or 12 years or whatever it was on the show pretending you did? And why, why were you mad that she left if you didn't love her? So let's dive into the wedding. It's a one minute, 35 second clip. I'll be breaking it up in between to kind of talk about what I'm seeing. And before we get into it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell so you never miss a video. We get married in two days. I'm so excited for her. I stalked him, got him online. Yeah, you said let's meet. I went, oh yeah, she's aggressive. I'm ready to get married. The fact that they are openly affectionate soothes that wound that Cody inflicted. Right off the bat, I like seeing Annie, who is Christine's mom, at the wedding, showing genuine emotion and crying tears of happiness. I'm assuming because Christine is leaving the world of polygamy and entering monogamy. Annie was married to Christine's father, Rex. Rex was the son of Rulon Allred. We're going to see Rex for the very first time. He's pretty old and he's, I think she said he's ill. So I don't know that he's going to have a huge role, but he does walk her portion of the aisle, down the aisle. Hayden walks her another part of the aisle, like the longer part. And then she meets up with her dad towards the altar. What I think is interesting is that Christine says, I stalked him. And then he's like, yeah, I thought she was very aggressive. And I'm like, all right, okay. And then being oversimplistic of Janelle saying that the fact that they're kissing and openly affectionate is going to somehow cure Christine of what Cody did to her by not being attracted to her and making her feel like an unattractive woman. I don't know. I mean, Yes, a new relationship can make you feel a lot better, but it doesn't fix everything. And, you know, some of that's just work she has to do on herself and decide if she wants to let go of it or if she wants to stay with it. It's going to be hard for all of them to be in the now because they're still in the past on the show. I don't know if that makes sense because, like, they have to, co- they get interviewed about it all the time. They got to drudge things up. They got to talk about it. They got to answer questions. They got to do media. It's like they're always in a loop of their past. That would be hard. But it's nice to see everyone's happy. Looks like a lot of the kids are going to be there. We'll continue. Yeah, I know Christine's getting married soon. I don't know exactly when it is. Who wants the party again? Chuck, 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 Chuck. Hey, Chanel, how's it going? This is really fun. I just love him so much. I'm excited to say I do. And he's excited to say I do to anything I want. (laughs) This is not your grandma's sister wife. This is not your grandma's sister wives. This is not your fundamentalist Mormonism anymore. Because that clip had so much going on that was not a part of the show before. And I don't want to overemphasize this, but Christine has left Mormon fundamentalism and in their faith, they didn't drink alcohol. They were all about wearing modest clothing and Christine is wearing off the shoulder tops now. 
This is a woman that used to get on her kids for wearing tank tops, by the way. She's chugging a beer. Again, these are women that used to take sips of beer and feel like they were breaking rules with Cody for having a sip of a beer. And they've never really openly had alcohol on the show other than a couple of times, like there was a wedding. And remember when the kids wanted to have alcohol at their weddings? It was a huge deal. Same thing with like the dressing, like McKelty and the older, older daughters, like telling Maddie she needs to get changed. So obviously a lot has changed. You've got Christine and the kids all having a good time. Maddie breaking down, Janelle completely enjoying everything. And overwhelmingly, the kids are there to support Christine, which is wonderful. I mean, obviously she is the heartbeat of that family. So there is all of that. I think it's weird that Mary's in this episode and we're also going to see Cody. We're having fun, you're having fun, I'm having fun. We're just gonna keep having more yeah. fun. Hey, Joe, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Moment. Yeah. Just take a moment. It's nice to see the kids are back. I mean, it's nice to see, like, I can't remember the last time Hunter was sitting down for an interview on the show. It's been years since I've seen him on a couch, in a, under lighting, participating. It's been a long time that Maddie and Caleb have been on since they have both left. I think Logan is even going to show up and Michelle and all of these people that want nothing to do with the show because of Cody, because of the family, whatever, the drama, come back for this specific episode. We already know that Gwendolyn will not be there. I don't know if that'll even be addressed on this, but I mean, Christine giving David a lap dance. So let's just go over this again. We've got alcohol, we've got lap dances, we've got dancing, well, they've always danced. We've got immodesty, we've got her dress. I mean, she's showing a lot of skin. It's like we've entered the 21st century. I'm just, you know, it's nice to get some happiness after quite of a downer of a few seasons, but a lap dance, I mean, can you believe it? Can you believe it? I knew David and Christine were going to get married. She made the ex accusation that I had. Aren't we just so happy for them? Well, I'm just telling we're, a little story. I'm just can't. so happy for them. I'm overwhelmed with happiness. It's like I felt like I've known you my whole life. My only complaint about the entire teaser is that Robin and Cody are in it. I can't think of anything more unwedding and uncelebratory than Cody complaining about Christine in a special honoring Christine and her new husband, David. Robin just trying to pretend like she's happy for them after crying on the tell all and claiming that Christine and their wives need to give her permission in person to be happy with Cody. The whole entire event looks beautiful. And there is going to be a season 19, so don't think that this is the end. And Christine is going to be bringing David forward in this world. She's going to be bringing David forward into this next chapter of her life. And in an interview with, uh, with uh, People Magazine this week, she was asked about meeting David and whether or not David knew Cody, what, whether he was familiar with the show. She said, David didn't live under a rock, being that he had awareness of her role on the show. He told me on our second date, I blurted out everything and I told him about the show. He was like, well, he said, Cody's a dumbass. So he knew of the show, yes, but he would rather not be on the show. He'd rather just be in my life. He, he admits he knows about the show, second date. Christine's going to bring him on the show. David doesn't really want to be on the show. He just wants to be with Christine. My only, <laughs> only frustration in all of this is that Christine's happiness is going to be sharing a platform with Cody's destruction and Cody's narcissism and Cody's trash talking. I want every couple that goes into marriage to have the best chance possible 
I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not an expert. I'm just gonna go off my own experience, but if I had to go looking back at my wedding, which was 13 and a half years ago, if I would have had to share my wedding spotlight with my worst ex-boyfriend, it would have been terrible. If I would have had to share my happiness in the same platform as my worst ex at that time, I don't know that I would have been able to be successful in my marriage. I don't know that I would have been able to successfully like close that door and open up my, my future. I mean, the beauty of my marriage <laughs> was that my marriage came after leaving an abusive ex-boyfriend, going through considerable hard times, and then spending years in therapy, working on myself, preparing myself to be ready for someone new. I'm not saying everyone needs to go through that. I'm not saying that everyone has the time for that. I would just say that like for me, having one chapter closed in order to open up a new chapter was so important. So for Christine and David, my hope is that they don't get sucked into all of this drama, that their relationship doesn't revolve around this drama, that it doesn't consume their relationship, that they can just be happy and enjoy themselves and and have their forever together without the chaos, without Cody. Cody's gonna be around in the peripheral of her life forever because of her kids, but sharing that time of her life with Cody on a show just seems so, oh, it makes me feel sick in a way. I wish TLC would have just not had him on that episode. But that's just my opinion. Some people in my comments are really over it and they're sick of the show. They're not supporting the show. They don't understand the point of the show. They don't get it. And I understand. I get it. There's almost this well level of, you know, when you've been on an incline and you've been waiting for that pinnacle of, okay, everything is going to come together and it's all going to be done and everything's going to be over. And then it all ends and everyone comes free and it's all that you've wanted. And then there's this huge letdown because everyone is still connected and doing a show together, even though it's not the best for all of them. Like that's how I feel sometimes. I feel like there's that letdown, that letdown of, can't these women do something cooler? Can't they go off and find something better? Can't they do something else? I know they have contracts, but I hope they can get out of these contracts or TLC can fire Cody and Robin. I would petition Cody and Robin to get fired and I would keep watching a show about these women and their journeys. I don't like that Cody and Robin are included in that. I do think, and I agree with David, that Cody is a dumbass. I just hope that Cody and David and Christine and all of that don't, doesn't get clouded in her happiness and her new marriage. So are you excited for the wedding special? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Bye guys.